Hi everyone! Welcome back to IntegralCalc.com. We're going to be doing another trigonometric substitution problem today. This one is the integral of the square root of x squared plus 4 dx. And we know that this is a trigonometric substitution problem because we can identify that we have the identity here um, u squared, which represents the x squared, plus a squared, where a is a constant, and a equals 2. Um, so 2 squared would be 4. And this here is one of our <coughs> three basic trigonometric identities. So we know that, that we're using a trigonometric substitution for this problem. So when we see u squared plus a squared, we are using the substitution u equals a times tangent of theta. So we need to identify u and a. In our case, um, we set u squared, u squared equal to x squared. We take the square root of both sides and we get u equals x. Um, we set a squared equal to 4 take the square root of both sides and get a equals 2. And we do that so that we can plug them in here and we end up with x equals 2 tangent theta. So now that we've done this, when you do a couple things, we're going to need this here. We'll also need the derivative of um, x, which is dx. And when we take the derivative, we get 2 secant squared theta. Secant squared is the derivative of tangent. And then we're also going to need to solve for tangent of theta. And when we do that, we divide both sides by 2, and we get x over 2 equals tangent of theta. We're going to need all of these things for our um, substitution problem. We're also going to need our uh, trigonometric substitution reference triangle for tangent. So we draw the reference triangle. Theta is just always go ahead and put it here. And since we've solved for tangent of theta, and we know that tangent from trigonometry is opposite over adjacent. We have opposite over adjacent here, which means opposite is x and adjacent is 2, which means hypotenuse then has to be, and we could use Pythagorean theorem to get this, but it's going to be x squared plus 4 is going to be the hypotenuse there. So we've built our reference triangle. Now we're ready to go ahead and get started with substituting into our problem. So, um, oh sorry, I forgot a d theta there. Um, so now that we have solved for x in terms of our substitution, um, we're going to go ahead and plug in 2 tangent theta everywhere we have an x. So we'll get the integral of the square root of 2 tangent theta squared plus 4. And then we have dx, so we'll be multiplying this by 2 secant squared theta d theta. Sorry for the crunched. Um, because we, we plugged in this here for dx and um, 2 tangent theta for x. So now um, we need to simplify before we go ahead and take the integral. So we will end up with the square root of 4 tangent squared theta plus 4 times 2 secant squared theta d theta. Um, we can simplify this by factoring out the 4, and we'll get 4 times tangent squared theta plus 1 times 2 secant squared theta d theta. Then we will take the square root here. We can break apart the 4 and the tangent squared theta plus 1 because they're multiplied together. So the 4 will come out in front as a 2, and tangent squared theta plus 1, um, we get from our, um, our identity, um, when we're using this as our substitution, our identity is 1 plus tangent squared theta equals secant squared theta. So we reduce this so that we can get to this point and therefore plug in secant squared theta for 1 plus tangent squared theta, which is what we have here. So we'll have 2, and then um, this would be times the square root of secant squared theta times 2 secant squared theta d theta. So if we simplify that, we have 2 times 2, which is 4. 
I'll go ahead and pull out the 4 in front of the integral, which I can do. The square root of secant squared of theta is just secant of theta. So we've got 1 secant multiplied by secant squared, which means we'll end up with secant cubed of theta d theta on the inside. And that is our simplified integral. So now that we have it simplified, we can go ahead and take the integral, and we're going to need to use a, um, a formula for this, which um, hopefully on a test would be provided to you, because I would really hope that you wouldn't have to memorize it. But the formula for secant cubed um, of any variable, in our case theta, is the following. So this is how we're going to um, take the integral, and we can even get rid of this. We'll have 4 times, and I'm going to go ahead and take the integral here, it's going to be 1 half times secant of theta times tangent of theta plus 1 half, let's say plus 1 half times the natural log or ln of the absolute value of secant of theta plus tangent of theta plus c. So this part here um, is our formula for secant cubed. So I use the formula, um, but now of course we need to um, simplify this and use our triangle to, um, to plug in identities for secant and tangent. So since I have 4 times 1 half and 4 times 1 half, um, it'll be 4 over 2, which is 2, so I'm going to get 2 secant theta tangent theta plus 2 times the natural log, the absolute value of secant theta plus tangent theta. This is going to need to go away. Let's see, I won't need this. Um, not sure. Let's say x over 2 equals tangent of theta. I'll just move this over. x over 2 equals tangent of theta. Okay, so we've got the absolute value here. Close that. Oh no, I don't need that bracket anymore, sorry. Um, plus C. Okay, so that's simplified. Um, so now that we've done that, um, we um, need to determine, um, we need to plug in for secant and tangent. We know that tangent is, um, is opposite over adjacent, opposite over adjacent. Um, so opposite is X and adjacent is 2. And we know that secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. So if secant is secant of theta is hypotenuse over adjacent, uh, hypotenuse over adjacent here, so we'll have square root of x squared plus 4 over adjacent, which is 2. So we can start plugging these in for secant and tangent. So secant is um, square root of x squared plus 4 over 2, and tangent is x over 2, so we can multiply all these together, plus 2 times the natural log, the absolute value, and again, x squared plus 4 over 2 plus x over 2 plus c. So to simplify that, we have 4 uh, on the bottom here and 2 in the numerator. So 2 over 4 would be 1 half. So we'll have x times the square root of x squared plus 4 over 2. The constant simplified to 2, we bring the x out in front. And then we say plus um, 2 times the natural log. And because we have 2 in the denominator of both of these fractions, we can combine them and say x plus the square root of x squared plus 4 over 2. And then, looks like we'll be done. We won't need any of this. So this will actually be our final answer. And of course, we can't forget c. But um, using trigonometric substitution, that's our final answer for the square root of um, the integral of the square root of x squared plus 4. So thanks, guys. Hope that helps. See you next time. Bye.